hello guys i am back on youtube and hopefully this time it will carry on going so stick with me with this i am back and this isn't like going to be the proper setup i'm yet to set up upstairs um for so for now i'm just filming in the living room because it's good lighting with it being dark and winter however i have got a huge pretty huge hang on also ignore the dog toys in the background <laughs> Uh, Primark haul, so big that this bag actually broke, which is brilliant. So it's all new in January stuff that I literally just picked up yesterday. Um, so I thought I'd go through it with you guys and share what I picked up. I went to, just a reference, the York Monk's Cross store, because I find that one in the Trinity Leeds are the best ones near me. Um, so yeah, I went to York Monk's Cross and had a little gander whilst it was quiet. So I'll just jump straight into it. The first thing that I picked up, <laughs> honey, what your attention. Um, the first thing that I picked up was this blue jumper, which looks like that. It was actually in the clearance section, so it was only seven pound. Um, don't know how much it was originally because the tags off, like ripped off where the price is. Um, but it was in a large, and I thought that's fine. Um, and I thought this could be quite sweet actually. Put, hang on, going into um, spring, like I'm already thinking of spring. Yeah, I quite like it. It's chunky. It's it's reasonably heavy, um, and yeah, size large is 14 to 16 for reference. Um, but yeah, I thought for seven pounds, you can't really go wrong, and you can layer it up with like shirts underneath with your collar popping out or something. So I, I, I thought, you know what, for seven quid, I'm going to buy it. You can't really go wrong for that, can you? So yeah, got that blue jumper. I just thought I'd take this out of the bag, but um, I also got this gold uh, photo frame. I wanted it to fit uh, one of my prints that I got from New York, and I've not tried it yet, so hopefully it will fit. But um, yeah, it's not bad. It's just like a classic gold print uh, print frame, and that was just two pounds. So that is cheaper than B&M genuinely it's cheaper than B&M and home bargain so I saw it was like you know what that's actually quite nice you know, I wish they had a bigger size they only had this size or an even smaller one which doesn't really fit that much um so yeah I just got this for the house and I just thought I'd stick with the homeware theme but I also picked up these pink tea towels which I'm sure my partner absolutely would love <laughs> um but I liked them and yeah it's just a set of four pink tea towels are new in um and they were three pound fifty so yeah can't really go wrong for that and you always need tea towels in kitchen and then i saw this mug i know like people have been going mad for the strawberry mug Hello. <laughs> i don't even live on a busy road we live in a village in the middle of nowhere it's just the occasional walkers that go past and look in the window anyway <laughs> um yeah if i see a picture of the strawberry mug i will pop it there everyone's been loving but I really liked this one. I thought it was really cute, right up my street, and it's a bit of Hannah. How nice is this? I absolutely love it. It proper, like, it's like 3D flowers, like, popping up. I absolutely love that. It's a bit of me. And it was just £3. Like, what an absolute steal. It's a good size mug, that, as well. So, yeah love that i just run upstairs to grab the couple of last bits that i bought from primark and i'm just too excited i would have put them out <laughs> um but first of all is this diffuser uh it's called amber woods it's new in i just thought it looked really classy um i wish though they had the gold cap that they usually have on diffusers but they didn't for this for some reason um but it just smells really really nice um really premium and that was um I don't remember how much it was, sorry, because it's not on the actual bottle. It would have been on the box that I've binned. Um, but I don't think it was too expensive, probably like a five or if that. But yeah, I got that one. So I got this one for the other bedroom, which is even with a fluid glass style. And it's sweet almond and vanilla. And that one smells incredible. Oh, God. Mm, that smells delicious, actually. Um, so yeah, I got that diffuser as well. So I got these two together as part of their new in range this candle um so this is juniper and lavender burns up to 32 hours it was six pounds well worth it probably should have bought two of these to be honest um and yeah i just thought oh god it smells so good um i loved the candle style and it smells amazing it was only six quid so what a bargain really can't go wrong also got this little tea like candle holder because this is the candle style of our bedroom at the minute 
um, with this sort of fluted glass and trims of gold. Like I just really liked it and they go well with our lights that we have from that we got from Next. Um, so yeah, I've got that and that was just £1.50. You can pop a little tea light in there. Probably should have gotten two. Don't know why I got one, but got one. Then I picked this up. So you come to join us. Come in. <laughs> um, then I also picked this up, which there was only one left. And I thought, you know what? It's fit. I'm going to get it. I really like it. It's this stoneware cream vase. Like how premium does that look to you? It doesn't look like Primark, does it? Um and it's new in, so it must have been really popular at the York store. But they didn't have a label on it, so she had to find out how much it was. And they put it through for a tenner. Um, I don't know if it was that price or if it was cheaper or more expensive, but that's how much she popped it through for for me. Um, and I just thought it might go quite nicely on the shelves up there or even in our bedroom. But everything in our house is kind of like Italian, modern, med vibes with a bit of country. I can't really explain it, it pops of colour. Um, but yeah, I just really liked this. I thought it was quite classy um, for Primark. I, I loved it. So I picked that up. Goes with the theme well for our house. Um, so yeah, that is the last homeware bit, I believe, that I picked up. And so now I'll get on to the rest of the clothes. I've seen this t-shirt like everywhere and I've not managed to yet get my hands on it up until now. So it is a heavyweight white t-shirt, which looks like that. And in person, it doesn't look like much, but do you know when you want to find a good heavyweight t-shirt that's thick and you can't see a bra through it even if you're wearing a bloody black bra and you still can't see it through a white t-shirt this is it honestly it's brilliant it was so it's part of their you know like their premium range collection which is a bit more expensive on like a certain area of the store um but it wasn't even that expensive this was 12 pounds that's not that expensive um part of their primark um edit range and yeah i got a size medium which I would have gone small if they had it because it's oversized. Um, but it's not bad once you like tuck it in and stuff. Um, but yeah, I quite like that. <laughs> Sorry, she's distracting me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I quite like this t-shirt. It'll go with so much and it's a good staple to have, really. A um, reel filming all of this for my Instagram. So that's why everything is everywhere. So, but I wanted to show you guys on YouTube because it's better to have a proper look at it, isn't it? Um, so this is another thing that I got as we're really in the store and I actually had to go back and get it because I really liked it and I thought I could wear that easily every day and <laughs> walking the dog and stuff. Um, but it's this New York charcoal grey sweatshirt. Um, I got this in a size large so it's even more of a size. Would have got XL if I had it so it's even more oversized but unfortunately they didn't have XL they just have large. And I still thought that'd be fine. I love it. I got a size, I just mentioned a size large for reference, which is 14 to 16, and it was £12, which you can't really go wrong with. I feel I actually think Primark are dropping their prices again. I've noticed. I don't know if anyone else has noticed this, because obviously they up them quite a bit, but I've seen a couple of items are going back to the price range they used to be at. Not all of them, but slowly they are like dropping like a couple of pounds or two. Um, I've just noticed that anyway, but yeah, I love this New York charcoal wear sweatshirt and I'll get a lot of wear out of it. I saw this like pastely soft pink coloured knit cardigan. So it looks like this and this neckline is very in at the moment. It's sort of like, is it like a round neck? But it's not a boat neck, is it? But like, yeah, it buttons all up. It's quite chunky, so it was a really nice colour. Um, I got this in a size medium because that's again all the hard and this was £15 um, but it does feel quite thick you know it's not it's not like a thin material um, and yeah I just thought that was really cute and sweet especially come springtime I've put in over dresses and stuff like that I think it could be like like look quite cute um, or even with a pair of jeans you know so yeah, I thought I'll get that. And they, ha they also had it in beige as well, in case you were interested, which I I'm kind of regretting not getting the beige as well now. I have to go back and get the beige, but yeah, got that. Next up, uh, I, I think these are going to make a little bit of a comeback. I could be wrong, but you know what? I'm going to put it out there. But these sweater vests, I've started to see on people and on Pinterest and stuff. And I'm like, hmm. Is that making a comeback for early 2024 for like maybe office outfits or something? I don't know. Um, but I saw this hung up 
hung up high. Why is it that they have some items hung up so high that you cannot reach them? Literally, like Dan, who is like six foot, was he six foot one or two? I can't remember. But anyway, even he was like jumping trying to grab it for me, my partner. And luckily, I managed to get one. So this is in a size medium. Um, and actually, maybe size down in it to be fair because it's quite large um and the price of this sweater vest was 11 pounds so not too bad um but yeah it's all right just to shove on with some trousers for work so i just thought i would grab that and see how i can style it up next up i got something that i was a little bit unsure about at first because of the texture of it so i felt it and i was like oh i'm not sure if i like the texture of this but on it's really nice and it looks classy um so it is this co-ord so it's first of all this top it's like an off-white cream color with black piping on the neckline and on the sleeves and on the hem at the bottom as well um and let me show you the skirt that matches with it where is it now <laughs> and then this is the matching midi skirt that goes all the way down there like that so together they are quite nice large in the skirt because you know I've got a belly on me want it to be comfy and the skirt was 14 pounds i can see this being very very popular um and i also obviously got the matching top in a medium because i don't need a large on my top end um and the top was 13 pounds so i mean just under 30 quid for the co or not too bad is it so yeah i do quite like it i'm unsure if i'm going to keep it or not because it's it's a toss-up between i like it on but i don't like the texture unless you layer it up so yeah i don't know i'm on the fence about it but i'm definitely keeping these because i just think they look great on they fit and they're comfy which ticks all of my boxes so it's these straight leg jeans i need to go back a little bit to show you them that look like that um but i got these in a size 14 they're called the straight leg high rise jeans and they were only 16 pounds and i think that's a price drop in the primark jeans because i know that they used to be at least 18 to 20 pounds for a pair of jeans in primark um for this style and this quality i know there's obviously the cheaper paper thin ones that were cheaper um but these are not bad quality at all so for 16 pound i think that's a definite price drop on their end um but yeah they're super comfy high rise they fit my bum still got a bit of room in as well so they're not too tight on my tummy either so yeah i think these jeans were a good buy and i'll definitely keep these i am a little bit unsure about again like i don't know if it's going to be a keep or not but they were selling like hotcakes in the york primark store like i had to quickly go and grab one and i got the last size 14 um don't get me wrong it is nice but again i'm trying to think about how often will i wear it trying to be more self-conscious with what i'm buying um so i might have to return it i'm not sure let me know what you guys think though it's this le faux leather it's kind of green to my eyes skirt um they've teamed it with that knit a gray knit vest top um but i'd actually maybe put it with a, a white t-shirt and it was 18 pounds so a little bit on the pricier end and it is quite thin actually like compared to their other faux leather midi skirts that i've had in the past like from the rita aura collection and stuff um so yeah i don't know if this is gonna be a keep from me but let me know what you guys think um and yeah i got it in a size 14 if i didn't mention already it's quite hard to shop around in primark because um there wasn't too much stock in there there wasn't a lot of choice and the majority of it was clearance sale reduction stuff so there wasn't anything really new in other than the gym basics right in front of you as you're walking to store like yeah buy a gym wear go to the gym new year new jam all that stuff um but yeah instead i had a wonder the few new bits 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 that they had available and the last thing that i saw which i actually really like um and you could put it with a vest top or t-shirt underneath if you like as well is this cream um would you say that's crochet style whatever it is like a jumper um i actually really like this i've got it in a size large so it's a little bit oversized always sized up in jumpers um and this was 15 pounds so 15 quid 
it's not that bad at all um and i thought again this would look really cute come springtime um oh, I'm already excited for spring if I haven't mentioned already. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just thought it was really nice. It goes perfectly with those jeans that I showed you as well. Um, so yeah, and I got that, like I mentioned, a size large. And it was £15. So not bad at all from Primark. It kind of, I feel like there's a kind of theme going on with like, the colour schemes that I'm getting. Everything from my new in Primark haul. I hope you liked it, me whizzing through it and getting used to YouTube again. So let me know if you liked this video and if you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button to my channel because I really want to push my YouTube in the year 2024. And I will see you in my next video.